Hello friends, welcome to Technical RPA. This video we are going to talk about uh, RPA tool comparison. Uh, usually in RPA market we have A360, UI path, blue prism and now it's adding SAP IRPA and power automate those, those tools are in high range in market so when you talk about uh, so market strategy the ui path is in first place and automation anywhere which is a360 version 22 which is cloud it's in second position Blue Prism is in third level and Power Automate with Power Apps that is Microsoft's one that is fourth level which is fourth position and SAP IRPA which is having specially created for SAP uh, company which is SAP IRPA they are so person they want to automate the application we can move with SAP IRP as well but they are not in mature to level they are just created recorders OCR and uh, connectors SAP IRP has more than when you see this is the SAP IRP so they are created more than 260 bots uh, with connecting to SAP GA and uh, Excel and database connection so that kind of automation that we can easily do so SAP IRPA intelligent robotic process automation cloud studio so they doesn't have any control room or monitoring purpose we can monitor those kind of things in uh, client itself still its tool is not matured but the tool having more than 260 bots which is uh, stored in assets so we can easily get it and we can uh, start the automation so SAP IRP as well here you can see that uh, everything is in flow diagram and uh, so now it's moving the, the fifth position so work fusion bega so these type of tools are in down but irpa is going up in the fifth position in market when we talk about sap irpa uh, when comparing to other automation tools they are giving the special features to get connecting with sap ua automation for all SAP connectors and um, SAP APIs and SAP uh, EX6 and SAP connections everything they are creating using SAP also like other applications Excel Word and Teams and um, other web development also we can do with SAP uh, IRPA tool so Microsoft power automate that we already know that power automate is coming into the uh, fourth level in market now it's moving to the very soon maybe at the another few months it's very soon it move into the position one because this power automate has easily created a builders machine learning and ml and uh, ua plus and uh, integrates with ocr the power automate specially comes with no code low code so when you see with uh, when you comparing to other automation power automate uh, gives no code low code which is 
you can easily automate through desktop applications or else default uh, their applications like teams sharepoint share drive one drive so these are all the applications and apis um, google cloud apis so most of most of the things which is twitter which is related to microsoft we can easily automate with very easy way comparing to other automation tools also one more uh, special feature is in power automate there is a apps called as power apps which will create business apps and uh, if you go to your mobile play store there is a app called power apps you can create your own app and you can you can place that using microsoft data weights you can easily uh, create any app any of your app no code low code option so when we talk about tool features so the earlier things are remain same now the artificial intelligence supports ua path aa blue prism and power automate four tools are supporting sap irpa as of now, as of now that yeah, initial stage and natural language processing and ml machine learning so these tools are supported but power automate is giving more support support comparing to ui path a and blue prism and when we talk about app, apps mobile apps creation only the power apps is giving other tools are um, not applicable when we when we try to create any apps when you talk about teams onedrive sharepoint twitter facebook this kind of automations uh, all the desktop related automations as well as uh, the folder level out which means admin level automations so we can easily go with power automate but other tools which give uh, this feature but it's it's not completely but power automate is the only tool because microsoft's own products which is teams or drive or else uh, uh, or else the microsoft um, weather monitoring so these kind of apis and tools easily accommodate and easily uh, they can add it with a no code low code feature in power automate also when we talk about ocr citrix and legacy automation this all the four ua path aa bp and power automate giving that also now the power automate has added google ocr and microsoft ocr as a in build feature sap irpa still it's in progress and when we talk about recorders all the five automation tools are giving the recorders features in uh, when we talk about recorder a360 is giving ai sense recorder and universal recorder two recorders are available the ai sense recorder specially creating for citrix automation and um, ai sense recorder it it will work as a metabot as well as it will work as uh, desktop capturing as well because in a360 there is no option called metabot previously version 11 has metabots a360 does not have metabot option so that uh, a sense record will help a to get the citrix uh, related automations and uipath and blue prism are re remain same they are having multiple features in surface automation like uh, OCR automations power automate now they added tesseract and google OCR but still abi and other OCRs are still not added SAP IRP also they are adding recorders and OCR kind of stuffs it's still not completed so when we talk about uh, market so power automate is coming into the number one level 
because uh, Microsoft has uh, so when we talk about uh, power automate here you can see we can easily go to if you have the account of Microsoft or else you can directly create with Gmail account or Hotmail account and if you go to flow.microsoft.com so this is the this is the one Microsoft Power Automate you can so how we can create uh, here you can see so if you want to create any flows for example I'm creating my flow so any of the flows if you are creating for example desktop flow if you want to create desktop flow you have to create desktop you have to download uh, desktop app which is power automate app so that is uh, we can automate uh, for desktop applications so if you want to update upload if you want to automate any of the cloud applications like a web application as well you can automate through cloud flows and business process flows if you want to uh, create any business process flows if you create on it you can create on it see here you can see when you try to create there is uh, five things are available automated cloud flow instant cloud flow scheduled desktop flow and business process flow so if you want to create any of the automation for example I have some bots that bots are giving some messages in my email for example outlook I want to get it from email and update into the uh, teams chat so that everyone can get it through this what is a uh, uh, type of bot failure and bot success kind of things kind of things so if you want to automate these things so you can create the automated cloud flow this cloud flow will create a input which will get your input and it will give the output um, if you want to update into the teams chart it will update and if you want to run as a trigger manually it will create a trigger also instant cloud flow it is manually only <coughs> account but triggered by a designated event is suppose whenever you are getting the outlook email when you are getting the chart this will automatically trigger but this is instant cloud flow is manual trigger and schedule cloud flow here you can see you can easily uh, create and schedule the your bots this desktop flow if you want to automate any desktop application like excel word kind of stuff you can any desktop anyone you can go with a desktop flow so so these are all the options are available here also if you if you see that any AI builders so artificial intelligent model builders you can build very easily here also many connectors are available so say so connectors means means nothing but that suppose you want to connect uh, outlook there is separate connector is available in Microsoft the default connector if you want to connect OneDrive so there is connector OneDrive or business is connector is available if you want to connect SharePoint the SharePoint connectors are available using this connector you can easily get and you, you can easily automate on it suppose um, when we talk about uh, a360 that is they are all talking about package even though those, those packages as well it will give limited type of automation but here you can see that uh, the automations are not limited you can do whatever the automation if you uh, make it with popular connectors okay thanks guys I will create some videos for uh, power automate and power ups uh, in next session thank you and thank you so much